Hello everybody and welcome to day 24 of my beginner sewing class. I hope you are well and today we are learning how to make straps. I'm going to show you how to make three different types of straps including this little tie up moment. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is measure the length of your straps. Right now I have a mannequin so it makes my life easier. Um, I'm going to need a 15 inch strap. So now that we know how long our straps are going to be, we need to figure out how thick they're going to be. I chose one inch, um, so that means when I cut out my fabric, I'm going to want to do one inch times two because I'm going to be folding it. And I'm going to use a seam allowance of a quarter inch, meaning I have to add a quarter inch to both sides. So um, we end up with two and a half inch that we need to cut out. This right here is two inches in width. So I'm going to start by marking that out and then adding half an inch. And this here is 12 inches, so I'm going to mark that. And I just need to add three to this. And I'm not adding seam allowance here um, just because I'm just going to be pinning it to my mannequin. But if you're um, working with a real project, you should um, add seam allowance here and there. So when you're working with the straps, you're probably going to need more than one strap. Right now for this video, I'm going to need like four straps. So I'm just going to um, pin some fabric underneath so that when I cut it, I actually have four straps. So you can only put, you can only like put one more layer if you would like, or even like put this one on the fold if you have a big enough amount. But I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, let's start cutting. Perfect, so let's take our first strap. The first technique I'm gonna show you is the loop turner method. Um, I forgot to make you buy you um, this tool at the beginning, like at day zero, um, but it's fine if you don't have it because I'm gonna show you some other ways to make straps without it. Um, this is just a lifesaver. And instead of it though, you can use a safety pin. Um, it works too but it's harder when the strap is smaller. So this time it's like a half inch. So like a safety pin is gonna work fine. But if you were making spaghetti straps, um, a safety pin would not work. So we're gonna be using this. So this method is really easy. All you do is fold your straps right sides together. We're gonna press that and then you sew all around that edge right here with a quarter inch seam allowance. So let's take our iron and fold our strap right sides together uh, what you could also do is just pin it instead okay there we go now just take it to your machine and sew all around that edge okay let's start sewing back stitch There we go. Now you're gonna take your strap and trim your seam allowance a little bit. Like don't turn it too, too close to the edge, but trim it a little bit, that it's easier when we turn it right side out with the loop turner. Okay, let's start. So what I like to do actually is do a little hole at the top here. Like just a little, little hole and then you're gonna insert your um, loop turner inside the strap and you're gonna hook I like to hook that little thing here inside my hole like this and as you can see the bigger hook here um, kind of eats the fabric and then you just push it like this and it just falls right through then you just keep pushing and then you can feel it like you can see it it's right there all right oh god here it's a little stuck sometimes you gotta help it And then it goes smooth again. 
and this process is really really difficult um on smaller straps it's doable but like it's gonna take you a long time now we're just gonna press it flat i like to put i like to put my seam at the bottom but you can put it to the side if you if you would like and that is the first strap done let's pin it to the mannequin and this is what she looks like pretty pretty good okay now we're gonna take another strap and what we're gonna do is create two little folds here and here of like about a quarter inch okay now next thing we're gonna do is fold it on itself And now we're going to top stitch all around this edge right here um, at about like one eighth of an inch and use a uh, longer stitch length for this because we're going to be seeing that thread. I decided to go with a stitch length of three. Just make sure your needle is well aligned. Mm, that looks good. And of course, back stitch. And now we just keep sewing as usual. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I kept seeing if I was running out of thread, and I did run out of thread at the end there. But that's fine because uh, the beginning looks perfect. Let's go pin it to our mannequin. So when I'm working with a strap that has top stitching, I like the stitching to be towards the outside. So on the other side, the stitching would be right here. Um, and I would suggest using this kind of strap on fabric that's hard to turn around. Um, so like, I remember I used this kind of strap on my leather dress because full leather is really hard to turn around. Okay, so I wanna show you how to make those straps that you can tie um, at your shoulders. And I think I'm just gonna use um, the loop turner method, but this time I'm gonna show you how to do it with a safety pin. So let's just do what we did before. So fold this in half. And like I said before, you could also just pin this, but this is, <laughs> this is faster. Okay, so let's sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Right, now choose a safety pin. Um, how big it is is going to depend on your fabric. I think I could even use a bigger one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this one. This one's a little big. Okay, so place your safety pin at the start of your strap like this and then oops close it now you're just gonna make it travel within the strap like that and now just like the loop turner you're going to feed the fabric through like this hole i guess And then you can just take your safety pin and pu pull the fabric down into the hole. This one is a little more time consuming, but if you don't have a loop turner, um, I mean, everyone has a safety pin at home, so it's a great, great option. And there it is, your little safety pin, and that's the beginning of your strap. Now you just unpin it and press it. Once again, the seam is going to be um, under my strap. Perfect. Let's put it on the mannequin. Okay, so you pin um, one of them to the front and leave the tail hanging then you pin the other one to the back and leave it hanging and then you just 
tie this off. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna do it off camera. And there you have it, a cute little knot. Obviously, if you want the tails to be longer, like this is super short, um, just use more fabric, like a longer length. And you can always finish those edges either like with a seam or with a lighter, like with a bit of a fire. And there you have it. This is how you make straps. Like I said before, you can make it in whatever size you want. Some sizes are more difficult than others, but you know, we all love a good challenge. Um, so yeah, your homework is just to practice all your straps. Um, I would practice like all three of them just to make sure you have a good understanding, but that's about it. So I will see you tomorrow.